welcome back I'm Frosty Gaming and I've decided to start a new tutorial series HTML so I'm gonna be talking about HTML5 probably down the line I'll be talking about CSS uh, maybe even JavaScript and PHP with some database stuff but for right now we're just doing basic HTML this series is gonna be for people who have never really messed with HTML before but they're interested in developing web pages this first video is just an intro to HTML5 I'm not going to be doing any coding I'm gonna be talking about some code but if you have any kind of like coding experience or if you just want to get right down into it you might want to start off with the next video where we will be developing our first web page so right off the bat I'm just gonna say that uh, there's this website called W3 schools and it is great it has a bunch of stuff on HTML CSS JavaScript uh, just a bunch of different stuff and I highly suggest you go here and this is more of a text learning website I usually come here when I'm stumped on something or I don't know the exact properties of something on the web and I need a little refresher basically my video tutorial series is gonna be following along with a lot of the HTML stuff on this website so if you're more of a text based learner not a video based learner or an audio basic learner then check this out so what kind of tools do you need for web development well not much really I would say that you just need a basic text editor and a browser to test it on text editors notepad comes with Windows text edit comes with Mac you can get other ones like notepad plus plus which is a little bit uh, better in my opinion the notepad or uh, sublime text which is what I'm gonna be using and they're all free you can just go search and download them with browsers, I'm going to be using Chrome because that's what I'm most familiar with. They have a really good uh, inspector uh, so we can actually see what's going on while we're looking at the web page. You can use Internet Explorer if you want. I really don't like Internet Explorer, but apparently the newest version has a really good inspector. And Firefox is really good, but basically any web browser will do. For the stuff we're doing, everything should be pretty much the same if there's something that might not show up the same on a different web browser I'll let you know otherwise it doesn't really matter just have a web browser and a text editor so what is HTML HTML stands for hypertext markup language basically this means that there's a bunch of tags markup tags that determine what the documents gonna look like or how it's gonna be interpreted by the browser we're gonna be specifically talking about HTML5 which was released in 2012 so it's fairly new but it has a lot of cool stuff going on so we can look at uh, like a general page structure going on here so with an HTML page you've got these tags and basically these tags just separate out the page so if we were looking at a web page the whole web page would be considered an HTML page and then at the top we might have a title like here in our web browser we can see a title and that would be in the head and then when we talk about the body that's everything being shown inside of the container there we have headings paragraphs links images a bunch of other stuff but this is the basic structure of an HTML web page next we can talk about tags all of these things in brackets are tags HTML head title h1p you, you get the idea and these are keywords that are surrounded by angle brackets all the tags in HTML are surrounded by angle brackets as far as I know you can see here that these are nested so there's HTML and then all of this is in HTML and then like we have head here and the title is inside of the head and we have all of these and these are all inside the body the first tag is called the start tag and the second tag the closing one is usually called the end tag or closing tag either one works so if we had this document and we opened it up in a web browser HTML head title body all of this all these things all these tags would not show up on the page they're just telling the browser how to display the page so that's pretty much just a little intro to HTML5 in the next episode we're gonna get hands-on we're gonna make our first HTML document so I would suggest getting a text editor that you want to use it could be notepad notepad plus plus text edit with Mac or sublime sublime works on Mac and PC and that's what I'll be using so any of those that works fine if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.